uh, to Lava Lava. We're here in Samoa. At the moment, we're here on a business mission with the Samoa Business Network, and I'm with Suni Fawina, who you may know as an NRL superstar, but he is also a coach and an author. And uh, yesterday, he did some work on the entrepreneurial mindset. So I'm really excited to be talking to Suni today because it's something that I'm very excited and passionate about myself. It's going to be a bumpy road, but uh, the more that you can uh, shift your mindset into embracing the challenges, uh, learning from your mistakes, uh, the more it helps and molds you into the person that you need to be uh, to be successful in business and in life. If we're not learning, we keep making the same mistakes, or if the challenges become too hard, we give up. Albert Einstein said, you know, you can't solve the problem with the same thinking that we used to create it. So looking at problems from different angles, it's really just taking a step back and just getting curious, challenging how you would originally look at it. Um, sometimes uh, we can look at, at problems with the same things, sometimes what we know. Looking at it from different angles is just challenging what you know. Um, sometimes getting an outside perspective to look at it as well is good. But um, for most, I think most people struggle with actually asking for help sometimes. You know, they, they want to know that they can do it all on their own. Um, you know, no one ever said that you had to achieve your goals and dreams by yourself. Absolutely. So, um, getting a good support to them. And I guess this is what's really cool about some of the work that you and I do around coaching. It is, it's helping the business owner to be able to look at a different lens because sometimes when you're stuck in the doing of the work, it's really hard to take that step back and really have a look at it from a different perspective. So that's why the work that we do is really good. Something that you said which I really loved and you asked, who looks at their vision daily? And not a lot of hands yeah. went up. And that's so surprising, right? Yeah, it is. And it comes down to um, just habits. Yeah. Uh, when I first started on this journey, it was really hard for me to get some really good habits and one of them was looking at my vision and reading my vision daily. I think even having really good clarity on what your vision is is important. Um, and I wonder if maybe some of the people that didn't put their hands up just didn't really know what their vision was. Yeah. And you know, how do you get up every morning if you don't really know what it's for? Yeah. And the thing is with your vision, it changes. Mm -hmm. It changes as you continue on this journey. Just start with what you have and what you can think of. And as you progress, you can start to make adjustments based on what you're experiencing. I think some people may think that it's set in stone, but it's never set in stone. It will always change depending on, on uh, I guess, how you look at it. I stole this from Jack Canfield. Um, and uh, he's... He's a big believer, he's the world's number one success coach, and he's a big believer that um, you know, whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. But what that means, what he says is that um, along the journey, you have to upskill. Just because you can think of it, it just means you've got the capacity to achieve it, but you, along the way, you, you're going to have to upskill to some areas. So um, being able to do programs, do training, do courses, uh, uh, do whatever you need to do to get something which was really resonated with me was, you know, you can't be a, you know, have a million dollar business if you're not that person. So if you don't currently run a million dollar business or a multi-million dollar business, then you need to become the person who can. And to do that, you need to upskill. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's another saying that I love, it's uh, becoming before you become. Mm. So, you know, and uh, if you want a million dollar business, well, what does a million dollar business owner do? Yeah. What do they do each day? What is their routine and what structures and processes have to be used. So you have to go through different levels um, of success. And with each level of success, you have to change. So you've got to elevate your thinking to get to that. People think that they can go make multi-million dollar businesses and not add any value. But then something else that we spoke about was how do you add value, particularly on social media, mm. without giving away all of your IP. Yeah. And that's a, you know, when I first started, I didn't really grasp it. So I was giving a lot of stuff away until I started to sort of learn more about what you actually share. Um, for most people who had a lot of value, what happens there is they, they actually fill up their customers. What I mean by that is the customers become full 
on their knowledge. So they don't need to work with them. So they go, hey, thanks a lot. See you later. But, um, but then on the but if you don't have enough value, then the customers will be like, I'm going to give you. Share the why behind what you do and the what. Um, and the how is what you yeah, So uh, you know, the why opens up their heart, the what opens up their mind. And something that um, we find in business is that you know when people are adding value and they're being paid to add the value, um, that is actually valuing themselves enough to charge for that, and also knowing what that value is worth to the other person, so that they actually are charging accordingly. Mm. Because so many people don't value themselves, yeah. so. That's why they give it for free, because I think no one will want to pay for this, it's not really worth anything, but they are an expert in that field. Yeah, and it just comes back to something. You know your worth. I, when I started speaking, um, I was doing like the first 12 months for free. It was really hard for me to charge. And then it wasn't until I sort of smashed that limiting belief around charging, because it, it, I don't want it to come like I'm suffering at all. But when I looked at it from, hey, I actually represented this, I was pressured at things. I don't know. Well, just I've done that. That's my value now. That's good. So whenever I um, I speak to one of my trainees and everything, the one uh, focus point that I could always try and do is to deliver ten things. So um, if I charge a hundred bucks, I'm trying to deliver a thousand. So each time, that's how I do it. Okay, well that's been awesome as talking to you today. I'm so glad that we got to do this because I know you live in Australia so yeah. otherwise it would be quite difficult. So, so thank you so much for your time. Hopefully that was valuable to you. Now, if you've got any questions just drop them in the comment box and Sunny and I will check them out and answer them for you um, and I will see you again next time on New Chats. Thank you and just quickly just want to say a uh, quick shout out to Evany Kutu for um, giving us these lovely shirts yesterday and uh, it's been awesome meeting you. Cool, thank you.